Hey everybody, it's Premier Gal here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the new Canon Mark IV. Well, it's not that new, but it's new for me. And I'm a shooter, editor, producer. Some people like to call it shredditor. So the type of shoots that I do are on location, they're interviews, B-roll for typically short social media videos. And this camera is perfect for that because it's portable and I can take photos with it. And it's not super expensive, like a $10,000 like C300, which is a bit outside of my budget. So with the Canon Log enabled, it gives you so much more flexibility later on to color grade. And I will show you the difference between the standard HD that you can record on this and also the Canon Log version of recording. So without further ado, let's go ahead and change the camera angle here. I'm gonna show you some of the features up close on the Mark IV. To turn on the Canon Mark IV, you just hit the switch here to on. And I like to use manual mode. Let me just show you that real quick. I always shoot using the manual mode because it gives me more flexibility. Also up at the top, there's a shoe mount. So if you wanna connect an external mic here, like a shotgun mic, you can then connect it here at this mic input. And there's also a headphone jack so you can actually monitor the sound, which the previous versions of the Mark series did not have. On the other side, there is a card slot for two different types of memory cards. There's the SD card slot and a compact flash. I'm currently using um, a 64 gigabyte Extreme Plus SD card, which I record to, which is pretty neat. Also the bottom is where the battery is and it's actually located quite nicely because the tripod plate will go here and it does not interfere with opening up the battery slot. So if I need to change a battery, I don't have to take the camera fully off the tripod, which in some cameras you have to do, which is a big pain. Okay, so as you see here on the front interface, there is two modes, there's camera mode and video mode. So I'm gonna show you some of the video mode stuff. So you just switch that button by clicking that. After you switch it to video mode, we're gonna to go to menu here and I'm just gonna show you how you can change the recording quality, the sound recording and enable Canon Log. So if you tap on this first here, it's a touch screen. It's already selected on this first mode. And under four, here is where you can change the movie recording quality. And you can change whether or not it's a recording as a MOV or MP4 we'll just record it MOV. Recording size, you can change it to 4K or HD. And there's two different modes there. There's all I or IPB. Right now I have it set at FHD 24 frames per second IPB. If you'll notice for recording HD, you can actually go up to 60 frames per second, but for 4K you cannot. So that's just something to take note of if you wanna do more like slow-mo, you know, you probably wanna shoot in HD. So let's just keep it at this and set okay. You can also go back to sound recording. So you can actually connect an external mic as I showed you before, and you can see the levels here and decide whether or not you need to make adjustments by clicking on record level, and you can adjust the recording level this way. So if you need to increase it and make it louder, I would just increase it. And you can see that the bars are a lot hotter now, probably too hot, so you just wanna keep it just near 12, just a little above. So that's pretty good and set okay. Now, if you wanted to enable Canon Log, just hit number five and click on Canon Log settings. And here's where you can actually choose on or off. I like to shoot on because it gives you more flexibility in post to color grade. Then just below that, you can choose whether or not you want the Canon Log to shoot more sharply with more saturation. I like to keep the strength a little bit lower as well as the saturation lower because I can bring back the color out in post. So now, um, once you have the settings in place, just hit menu to exit again. And here is where you can make further adjustments. So if we're recording in let's say 29.97, 30 frames per second, you wanna change the shutter speed to 60. So you can actually use this dial to change it or you can use the buttons here on the screen, which is pretty cool. So we'll set it at 60. You can change the aperture here by clicking the 4.5, which is the F number, and you can use the touch screen to adjust it like so, or you can use the dial as well. So I'm gonna keep it low, and now we can change the, so I'm gonna keep it low and then go back, and you can also change the ISO here using the touch screen. So if you wanna make it higher, 
you can just tap that. It goes all the way up to 32,000. Now, if you don't like the touch screen, you can also just use the original way to adjust up here. If you wanna click the ISO button, you can manually adjust the ISO up here as well. Now, let's say we wanted to start recording here. If we exit the menu and we actually hit the start stop button to start recording, the best part about this is that you can actually tap the screen because it's a touch screen. So if I hit the Q, you can actually see the levels here. Before, you cannot do that on the Mark II, which is something that I really, really needed. So another um, great feature about this is it has the Servo AF, which enables you to follow and tap the screen different subjects to focus it automatically. And if we go back, if I stop and we go back to menu, and we go back to tracking. If you go under AF, there's different types of tracking abilities. So they're called cases. So case one is versatile multi-purpose setting. And this one I like, it's for erratic subjects moving quickly in any direction, which is case five. And I tend to use this when I'm filming Premiere Pup because he moves really quickly, enables the camera to quickly refocus every time he moves. All right, so that is video. If you wanna change it to photo, just change the mode there. And again, if you just hit that Q button there, you can then change any of the settings like on previous DSLRs. You can click on the shutter speed and make adjustments here. The aperture, you can make adjustments here on the touch screen. It's all pretty clean and easy to use. I like to shoot in RAW, so I just click that RAW button and make sure that RAW is enabled. So now let's just go ahead and jump into Premiere Pro. I'm gonna show you a side-by-side -side example of video shot in HD and one shot in HD with Canon Log enabled. All right, you guys, so I'm inside of Premiere Pro CC 2018 and I have four shots here. This was shot in standard HD here without Canon Log enabled. And then this shot here was Canon Log enabled and you can see that it's far less saturated um, because we can actually bring out more color in parts of the image because it was shot in Canon Log. Same with this shot. This was shot in standard HD here. But as you'll see, I also shot the same shot in Canon Log. You can see it's just not as sharp, not as saturated, and that is because we're actually able to adjust this image far more in post as you will see. So let's go ahead and use the Lumetri color panel to color correct this and add some grading. So if we wanted to boost the contrast here, we could do that, increase the exposure just a tad, maybe boost the whites a little bit. Let's get him looking at the camera here. Maybe crush the blacks just a tad. Um, under creative, we can maybe sharpen the image just a little bit and add some vibrancy maybe not quite as much sharpening, maybe just five. So already we can see that the image looks a lot better. It's just pretty amazing what you can do with just the basic Lumetri color panel here. If I play it back and turn the Lumetri color back on and off, you can definitely see the difference. So thanks so much for watching, you guys. If you're interested in getting the Mark IV, if you think these features are for you, go ahead and purchase the Mark IV using my link in the description box below. Using my link helps me grow this channel. If you wanna support me in other ways, you can head over to patreon.com and leave me a monthly tip there. And each month, if you donate $5 or more, you'll get free templates delivered to your inbox every month that I design for Premiere Pro and After Effects. So be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe, hit that notification bell so you're notified when I make new video tutorials and reviews every week on this channel. I'll see you all very soon. Bye.